This arrived for me today. This was sent to me by one of the companies I have been enjoying the products of the longest. This is the 30th anniversary edition of the Palladium Fantasy role-playing game. Now, while not beloved by everybody out there in role-playing land, it is a game very near and dear to my heart. It's where I went directly after giving up on Dungeons & Dragons, and it gave me exactly what I was looking for at that time. And so I'm still fond of it for nostalgia reasons, and I'm fond of it because even when I play it with people who've never played it before, today, it still gives us a great time. So looking inside, we see I get a free bonus gift of newspaper. Everybody loves foreign newspaper when they live abroad for a long time, even if it is all crumpled up. And we see that the book is in a box inside a box, and you know how much I love that. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. So the box inside a box. This definitely makes me feel like Palladium was interested in preserving my little piece of, you know, history. <laughs> More newsprint, including a crossword puzzle. This just keeps getting better and better. Okay, so a Rifter subscription. You know, I've been following, or, you know, playing Palladium games since I bought the first in 1989. And I have... I have never, I'll be honest, I've never looked in a rifter, but I've been thinking about it lately. And there it is. Now, when I first read the description that it was going to be brown with green foil print, it did give me pause. You know, there are a lot of colors out there in the universe. But then I started thinking about the Palladium world, actually, and how I've always portrayed it. And there's a lot of mud, and there's a lot of uh, natural environments, uh, I did more outdoor adventures with Palladium than I ever did with, with Dungeons and & Dragons, and it began to seem to me after a while that <laughs> maybe I would appreciate uh, these colors. So we have on the cover, we have the, what looks to me like a Balrog, and uh, so that's all right. book has a nice texture, uh, it's glossy, and uh, it's quite heavy, and as you can see, quite thick. Uh, it was very tightly uh, matched in size to that box, uh, so that's very satisfying. Uh, no damage to the corners whatsoever. Good binding, the stay open variety, right? Now this is numbered, right? And let's see, where is the number? Yeah, there it is. So. I got number 30 out of 450, and signed by some favorites at Palladium. This reminds me of a story, and I guess this is an appropriate place to tell it. Um, a few years ago, uh, 2004, 2005, uh, we were talking about you know doing some experiments, playing a whole bunch of, of different games that the other people in the group hadn't played, and so the, the people with experience with that game were going to be game masters. So I was thinking about running Palladium. Because everybody except me uh, at that time was having a, a hankering to do some some fantasy role play, so I thought, well, you know, I'll run Palladium for them because that's that's the the fantasy, the old fantasy game that that I really enjoy. And so I was thinking about having you know stuff unpacked from the bunker on the other side of the earth and sent to me. And it was at that point that I learned that due to a recent flood, some of my games may have been damaged, and. Uh, you know, you can imagine, <laughs> for someone who keeps their books in such fine condition as I do, that news was, was devastating. So I went online and, uh, you know, reconnected with, with Palladium and found, you know, that you could still order these games. I mean, my first edition uh, Palladium game, I, at that point I was thinking, was, was gone, ruined, beyond repair kind of thing. Uh, but I could still get the second editions, which we had used. So in those days, it wasn't really always easy to have things sent to Korea, especially trying to navigate through an online purchasing system. So 
in order to actually complete the transaction and make sure that the the address was correct and uh, that the shipping could be calculated properly, I ended up needing to uh, make a call to the Palladium office, which was fine. And uh, you know, I'm expecting to talk to you know just whoever, someone in the in the warehouse kind of thing. And uh, no, I end up talking to Kevin. So that was cool in and of itself. And uh, you know, I'm ordering the the complete line, so. Uh, I think it was natural for him to ask me, you know, why, why are you buying all this stuff? And so, you know, I explained that uh, that my previous collection uh, was very likely destroyed, and so I I wanted to have them. I wanted it all replaced. And you know, could you please send them? And uh, of course, you know, no problem. Great conversation. He's willing to stay with me on the phone as as uh, as long as I liked. And it uh, just made the whole thing fun. I mean, I felt like for a, a moment, a brief moment, that I had walked into, you know, a friendly local game store. Uh, it wasn't like, you know, talking to a publisher on the phone uh, about parting with my money. It was about, yeah, this game is cool. You know, and uh, and I, I haven't forgotten. And uh, so I ordered the whole line right there. And uh, and had it sent to me. It came in this massive box, and uh, and I, you know I was really happy. And we started playing as soon as it arrived, and people really enjoyed the game. And you know the campaign went for a while, and then it went into to email for a while, and you know so it had a it had a lot of legs, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And I moved a couple of times uh, after that, and uh, discovered on the third move, and this is many years later, so. Let's say that the books arrived late 2004, early 2005, and this third move uh, is in 2011. <laughs> it was at that point that uh, one of the movers was asking about the games. He liked the cover, and uh, I opened up the cover just to show him some of the interior art, and I saw that all of those product products had been signed by this man right here. Signed and with his characteristic dragon art. And I had no idea. So I'd been playing with the books and admiring the books on my shelf and, and referencing the books often, but had never once looked in the front pages and never saw the great message that he wrote me uh, or the fact that he had taken the time to do that. And, uh, and I felt like a heel. <laughs> it was far too late to thank him, but maybe you know if he sees this, uh, if he sees this uh, unboxing video, he might get a chuckle at uh, the silly things that gamers do or don't do. For those who are wondering, this is the second edition of Palladium Fantasy. This is not uh, an update or uh, you know a third edition or a revised edition or anything like that. This is exactly the same, other than the cover. Uh, as what's out there in soft cover. Uh, it's just very nice to finally have a hardcover. I've never had a hardcover of this book, and I'm very happy to, to find that the the spine is one where I, I won't worry about using it. Paper's nice, uh, good clarity, and uh, yeah. This is Palladium Fantasy. Love images like this. So if you've never played Palladium Fantasy, um, this is not a review of the game, but I, I, uh, I may do one later. But this is one of my favorite fantasy worlds to game in, and uh, it's one of the ones that I guess polished my skills as a game master in that it's one of my big influences. It was in this game that I learned to say no. It was in this game that I learned to have negotiations between characters uh, not characters, sorry, between players about what they were going to play and what kind of game world we were looking for. Like, how much power were we going to have? Like, would we be using characters like the Diabolist, who are definitely not uh, standing toe to toe with demons types? Or, you know, are we going to be going for a much more overtly magical setting with, you know, like warlocks and priests and, and stuff like that? Um, there are a wide variety of power levels available in the game, and uh, it's up to you to balance them. The game 
allows you that freedom so that you can have an incredibly powerful character, you know, uh, let's say in combat, mixed with someone who's nothing more than a scholar or nothing more than an archer. I like that. Not everybody does, but I really do. So it's great to have this game in hardcover, and if they ever do an, you know, an updated version, uh, taking advantage of, of everything that's happened in the 30 years of gaming since this came out, I would, uh, I would definitely be a willful and cheerful part of that. Anyway, the Palladium Fantasy 30th Anniversary Edition.